Yo, you guys want to see the most baller chemical reaction I've ever seen in my life? It's this one, where you use ozone to create an aldehyde or ketone or one of each or two of one from alkenes, where you have a double bond between two carbon atoms. Yo, check this out. Here I've got R1 and R2 attached to the first carbon. I got R3 and R4 attached to the second carbon. Those can be whatever you want. Long chains, there could be like a, a, a benzene ring in there somewhere. They could just be hydrogen. What ends up happening is this ozone adds itself across the double bond. That double bond becomes a single bond. Now we still have R3 and R4 attached to that carbon. You still have R1 and R2 attached to this carbon, so don't panic. But then you have your ozone, O3. That's three oxygens. And you get this pentagon that actually has three oxygens in it. This rearranges itself. You end up with the two carbons separated by an oxygen. These two oxygens are down here. See how we've rearranged the pentagon so that the oxygens are kind of separate from each other? Don't worry, you still got your R3 and your R4 on this carbon. You still got your R1 and your R2 on this carbon. And this here is called an ozonide. Because what happens is, when you add zinc and water to this kind of molecule, this ozonide, this pentagon breaks apart and what you end up with is a double bonded oxygen on each carbon. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my final answer, by the way. I'm going to keep this part, the carbon attached with to two R's. I'm going to keep this carbon, and it's R3 and R4. But notice I've gotten rid of my three oxygens. That's because the final product has double bonded oxygen there, and double bonded oxygen there. Yes. You've broken the double bond completely. The single bond's gone, the double bond's gone, and you just replace it with the double bonded oxygen. One molecule breaks into two. If these R's are made of carbon chains, that makes these ketones. If one of the R's is just an H, that's what makes it an aldehyde. But my goodness, look at that. Break the double bond, replace it with double bonded oxygen. Bam! ketones and aldehydes. Awesome. Best of luck.